Hi everybody, Manish Konkar here and thanks for being here. In this video, we are going to look at a very simple digital marketing hack that will save, that will get you better quality of leads. I wish I knew this hack uh, when I started digital marketing, we ended up wasting a lot of money, uh, unnecessary budgets. And uh, uh, you know, the question arose because we were running a training program recently uh, for uh, you know for an automobile company and one of the participants uh, you know he told us this problem that uh, i'm running my ads in kolapur and i am getting leads from pune i am getting leads from mumbai why is it happening uh, there was another person who was from andhra he said i am running this campaign in andhra my target is the entire state of andhra and i'm getting leads from up i am getting leads from bihar why does this happen? This is what we are going to examine in this video. This digital marketing hack will uh, enable you to get better quality leads, which will improve the uh, billing that you know your conversion ratios and help you make more money by getting more with more customers. Um, you know, and if you don't do this, uh, let's see what is going to happen. Do you want your sales team to go around chasing leads which are of poor quality? Do you want to incur additional costs in your business? Do you want your customers to incur additional costs uh, you know, because they're not doing all of these things. That's what we are going to examine okay, in detail. All right, so let's begin. Uh, what we're talking about is uh, the, you know, so uh, I'm on the Facebook ads dashboard. Uh, I assume you're familiar with, uh, with this. If you're not, do have a look at our digital marketing course. Um, so a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Manish Konkar. We are uh, Direction One. Uh, we do digital marketing. We are experts in uh, our, our subject matter expertise is negotiations, uh, digital marketing and leadership. And we've been corporate trainers for many years now and continue to do so. Um, in this video, let's start. Uh, I'm going to share with you how the Facebook ads uh, manager interface um, can be used to run better quality lead, lead gen campaigns. Now, um, uh, I'm on the so on the left hand side. I'm on the standard uh, ad station piece. Take any campaign, and you have this. Uh, so we are running a bottom of the funnel campaign uh, for one of our products, one of our clients. And um, what we have here is, you know, a location targeting. Okay, so look at it this way. When you select an area, okay, what do you what do you select? So I've selected Mumbai city. I have taken a radius of plus forty kilometers. And I've got my demographics targeting and all those things. Okay, now look here. If I look at people, look at this option here, people living in this location. Now, this is not the default. Okay, the default is people living in or recently in this location. So when you don't pay attention to this, here is what is going to happen. People recently or living in this location means what? Now, the two differentiations we are talking about is people living in this location and people recently or traveling in this location. What is the difference between traveling and recently? Traveling is if you're coming from more than 200 kilometers away. So if a person from Delhi is visiting Mumbai, he is traveling to Mumbai. Whereas if someone is coming from, let's say, Navi Mumbai, if someone is coming from, let's say, Karjat, you know, though, though that's less than 200 kilometers away. And uh, that person would be recently in this location. Now, which of these options makes sense for you? Well, depends on your business. So if you are, let's say, a hotel, who should you be targeting? You should not be targeting people who are living in that location. So you would not take option number two. You would take option number, you know, maybe why would a person from Navi Mumbai come down to Mumbai to stay in Mumbai? He'll probably go back home in the evening. So you would take people traveling in this location. But if you're Zomato, if you are a local business, if you are an automobile dealership and you want to target people who are in that, who are in that area or recently in that area, this is what you would take, all right? So people living in this location, people recently in this location, traveling in this location, these are the three options and uh, you take this global one. Now, if I show you the difference, see what is happening. I've got a certain narrowing criteria that we've used here. Our estimated audience size on the right hand side is one lakh. Now, if I take people living in this location, see what happens to the estimated audience size. It drops to about 97,000, right? If you were taking a state, for example, if I remove this and if I took, let's say, 